Welcome everyone to another evening's multi-category match. Today we have Nintoaster versus Andrew, and I am extremely happy to say that they have picked Triple Bingo for their category. So apologies for the delays while we get everything bingo set up. Um, we're just about ready to go now, and they'll be starting shortly. And we are off! Card will be revealed shortly for everyone. So, as a reminder of the category, this is Triple Bingo. There will be a 5x5 five five grid of various goals inside Super Metroid. The runners will be forced to complete three rows, columns, and diagonals at their leisure. Uh, no anti, no vetoing, no just whatever they want to do. And so let's see what's on this card. Some of the uh, difficult things here. Uh, we've got Defeat Dragon, we have Collect Space Jump. Those are two fairly difficult goals that are actually very, very synergist here. Uh, we have Defeat Krokemeyer and Ridley. There is Defeat Plasma, Collect Plasma Beam or Defeat Ridley. And those are probably the hardest goals on the card. So definitely, it's almost gonna be impossible to not get at least one of those. So most likely, we're probably going to see of our runners either try to pair defeat Dragon Space Jump or the both Ridley tiles if they choose to do a Krokemeyer and skip Meridia route. There is uh, three Norfair tanks or one Meridia tank to help them pick between the two. Both runners have indeed skipped the high jump boots so far. I do not expect that one to last. And then same for that charge beam. So I had a question about the top left. So the top left tile means that your energy tanks plus reserve tank count must be 11. Whether that's 11 and 0, 10 and 1, 8 and, eight and 3, or 9 and 2 is up to you. This, of course, is played on a vanilla copy of the game, so all of our runners are going to have to go get their Morph Ball. Nice Moonfall from Nintoaster. Go get their Morph Ball and go and...
So let's see here. Let's assume that the runners do not want to skip the high jump race. Most runners do not. Ooh, wait, what is Nintoaster doing? Nintoaster is going to get some extra Brinstar missiles. That is a tile to collect all 60. But you have to come back here no matter what to get the ceiling missiles if you want to do that. So that's an interesting choice there to get them now. I do not see any other missile tiles. Looks like Andrew wants to get that Criteria map station. Gotta figure out where to... There is actually a, a few really synergist tiles here. There's destroy at least one statue. Destroy at least two statues, and then Dragon and Space Jump. The only downside of some of those rows is that Space Jump, you either have to collect all of the Criteria Missiles plus the Energy Tank Tile, or you have to finish in Metal Pirate Room, which is not close to Space Jump. So we'll, uh, the next, e the next tile our runners could be choosing to collect is that Brinstar Reserve Tank tile. Um, we'll have to, s well, they get their early supers. We'll have to see if either runner picks that up. They are probably, I would say, going for both row one and column five are not bad to pair together. It does force you to get speed booster to visit all the critters, though, as well as a decent amount of tanks. Uh, which locks you out from that center ice beam square. Oh, Nintoaster not choosing to get it on the way up. Oh, how about the way down? Maybe he just wants the missiles. Looks like both runners want that reserve tank. Possibly some extra missiles. Which means I have to track grid missiles. So both runners choosing to go for that upper right tile. Um, wouldn't be surprised. And it definitely looks like that Nintoaster is going for that uh, 60 Brin missile tile. Hmm. 
So, for Nintoaster, if he wants 60 Brin Missiles, and if he's getting that Reserve Tank, 60 Brin Missiles would either be Column 2 or Row 2. Column 2 is hard. You got not only 60 Brin Missiles, but also Crocomire and Ridley. Row 2, on the other hand, is pretty easy. The only hard thing there is getting that Meridia Powerbomb. Interesting that Andrew feels like he wants some more missiles. That's not the fastest missile to get compared to some of them, but it's still pretty fast if he was just like, want some more ammo. Andrew wants the spacer. Now that's interesting. So if he is getting, there is no spacer tile. Let me double check that. Definitely no spacer tile. So if he wants spacer, the only reason I could think of to do spacer is he is going for that Ridley kill. And I believe, definitely believe, this is a seed where it is not necessary to kill, to go into Meridia. For example, if he gets row three and row and column three, did he get charge beam? Did either of our runners get charge beam? I actually missed that if either, any of them got charge beam. So, because that's interesting, because if he got Charge Beam, then he's not going to be going for Column 3, which is the easiest one to combine with Ridley, you know, except for getting enough Super Missiles to kill Ridley. But he could still do Row 3 pretty easily, with and then combine that with Row 1. And then maybe... Don't know actually what he would do if he if he wasn't going to be uh, killing Ridley as his third one. Because if he... Well, I'll have to see. And Toaster getting the Create Energy Tank. I expect Andrew to as well. Could have just gotten Spacer because he wanted to get Spacer. It is great. <laughs> Collision oscillation. And Toaster, of course, will have to come back to this area to get one of his Brinstar missiles.
Looks like Nintoaster doesn't want to keep, keep that skip high jump tile. Same for Andrew. So interestingly, that definitely restricts the options for our runners significantly. With picking up charge beam and high jump boots, that knocks out column four, row two, row four, column three. Andrew wants that ice beam. Definitely expect him to get that wave beam too at this rate. Having that skip charge tile just hurts in column three because otherwise row three, column three, row one would probably be a really good combination for this race. But skipping charge and trying to kill Ridley is a lot of super missiles. 30, in fact. And you're going for the ice escape. definitely get some more hints from Andrew's route here, because if he gets that speed booster, that means he's not doing row one. And if he's not doing row one and not doing row three, or column three, then there's no way he's going to go fight Ridley, right? Well, it looks like Andrew is choosing to get that speed booster. And then Toaster wants his wave beam. So I'll have to, I'll have to ask Andrew then why he wanted to... Um, Crap. Interesting. And Toaster is heading to the Krokemeyer. Or maybe... Yep, and Toaster decides that he wants to go fight Krokemeyer. So we've confirmed that Nintoaster is heading for column two. And I assume that if he's doing column two, he will do row one. But Andrew can no longer do row one. So we'll see if he also chooses to go fight the Krokemeyer. Nope, Andrew's heading... Nope, Andrew is heading to fight Krokemeyer. Huh. I hope he realizes that uh, row one, column four is a collect only one tile and not a collect both tile. So 
So our two runners having very similar routes so far, but definitely different goals. We'll see if either of our runners decides to go up to wreck ship. Um, at the minimum, I expect in Toaster to go grab some of his power bombs now and do a Brinstar cleanup route. For Andrew, I have no idea where he's going to go. Ooh, Andrew missed a spark to try to get across to get to these power bombs. But easy recovery with that speed jump boost, speed boost jump. So, will Nintos are going into the wreck ship? Ooh, nice spark keep into, to get across this for him there, Andrea. Looks like he's setting up for a lava dive. Ooh, yeah, if you want a lava dive... That's interesting, right? Because if you want to skip... If you want to skip the wrecked ship, you're not going to have the gravity suit. And so doing a high jumpless lava dive would just be brutal. We'll see if Nintoaster grabs his 10 power bombs tile. Nope, not choosing to. Andrew wisely taking a save here. Nice ocean fly from Nintoaster. We'll see if Andrew gets the correspondingly fun fast pillars. Bingo! Well, not really a bingo yet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the activate part of those tiles out, Asder. People don't seem to like actually saving, which is fair. So I'll be very interested to see what Andrew does with his Crocomire and Ridley tile. Because he can't do column three, and he can't do row one. Aw, oh, the key hunter is just trolling Andrew here. Oh, it looks like he was thinking about his tiles. 
or just waiting for them to move and get out of the way. And Toaster doing pretty comf fantoon fight here. It's a no problem. Oh no, got the enrage. One more missile, one missile short. Wow, uh, Andrew is gonna have a probably have to farm for a little bit here to uh, fight. Oof. Ooh, don't double hit. Ah, oh, 20 health. Thank goodness for that reserve tank. Can't speed strat through this room this time. And almost hit those spikes and die. And Toaster getting through the enrage phase, no problem. Getting his missiles. <laughs> Andrew using the I can spark and have it go off whenever I want to uh, kill his first pirate. I wonder if he'll do any Ridley X factors. I was gonna say, you might want to farm a little bit there, Andrew. And Toaster grabbing one super. We'll see if he goes for right side supers. Nope. And Andrew into the Ridley fight. I believe it is a 60 shot fight and five supers there will knock 10 shots off. Decent speed strat there from Nintoster getting through that room. Wonder if anyone in chat can tell me if Nintosir got every Bryn missile except for Billy Mays. I think he has. Andrew's gotten Ridley into a nice pogo there before Ridley is like, no, I want to make this harder on you. Ah, yes, Crade Missile is the last, is the third one that he needs. Because I have much in my in my tracker, I have him missing three, and I'm like, the third. We'll be interested to see. I expect Nintoaster to go uh, visit Golden Four on the way down. I wonder if Nintoaster wanted to do Krakomire and then changed his mind. And Ridley down for Andrew. He only needs to visit the critters, and I also... Yes, that is also his third north. Interesting, Nintoaster choosing to get this as his tenth power bomb, Or no, he's going for Gauntlet Tank. So, he can't do column four, so that must mean he is... He is going to be finishing in the Metal Pirates room, and also killing Dragon? Eventually, uh, decide... Oh, did get the wraparound shot. Nice. Oh, 
Of course, Nintoaster could also just be getting this to contribute to his 11 minus X X tile and does not actually plan on completing a row or column with the gauntlet tank. All right, Andrew, tell me what you get. Let's see what you got. At minimum, he's going to have to do his Bryn cleanup to visit the critters. Ooh, those, uh, the, these key hunters are not, uh, not making Andrew happy. Looks like he's going to choose to kill him rather than risk taking a hit. You know what I think? I think Samus, when she's at full health, should fire charge shots. Just how Link, when he's at full health, files, fires master, beam, master Sword beams. Thank you, chat. Yes, Andrew can, does indeed get that tile, even though he can't finish the run. I'm really hoping he knows that. <laughs> I'm toaster grabbing the Etikunzi tank. And also visiting the critters. <laughs> did, did he actually say hi to the Eticoons? Nope, he's going back to say hi to the Eticoons. That's what I thought. doesn't grab that E-Tank. I thought he did grab that E-Tank. Interesting. Looks like Andrew's thinking. See? Animals saved. As much as you can in the bingo, at least. Uh-oh. Looks like Andrew is heading up Red Tower. Now realizing that uh, I think he's gonna go get his gravity suit. For now it looks like he's just grabbing a second power bomb. Surprised that if he wanted more power bombs, he wouldn't have grabbed power bombs in jail. Oh no, he's grabbing the a brinstar. Uh now I have I did not track and remember which brinstar missiles he grabbed earlier. <laughs> And indeed, I think uh, Andrew may have realized that his row one tile dream is dead. 
Ooh, just barely misses the ocean. Oh, and doesn't quite have enough energy to make it. But he's got a reserve tank, so it should be okay versus Fantoon. And Toaster grabbing his Billy Maze missiles. Looks like he's got two more to go. I did not see an Toaster visit the Golden Four room yet, though. Or did I miss that? Andrew was like, I don't need health to fight Fantoon. There we go. It's, so I'm guessing that Nintoaster intends on collecting plasma. Oh, oh, he's thinking. Actually, I have no idea what he's doing because he can't get row two and he needs to get statues to get column two. Go back and get the statues, Nintoaster! And you're one Brinstar missile away! Trade missile! The runners are allowed to listen to the stream if they want, and I do my best to not lead them astray. Routing with three rows is so hard, Tracy. With all the mutual exclusions and remembering everything and... Oh, the toaster's decided. Down he goes, but he still needs to go get his statues. Andrew has the gravity suit and will be uh, hopefully shedding some light on his next route. I believe Andrew has big pink missiles, missiles under the bridge, Crade Missile, Billy Mays left. Because I believe he got both missiles behind Reserve Tank. He got the Charge Missiles, and he got Pipe Missiles. Did Andrew get mi I didn't think Andrew got Missile Under a Bridge. And Toaster got them all. I have no idea how he's going to finish those. Or use that 60 Brinstar missile tile, though. Ooh, what? Huh? I'm confused now, Andrew.
That is a Criteria missile, and you did not get missiles in the sky. Or above the ocean missiles. Diddy and I'm just crazy. Too much to track in triple bingo. Too many tiles. Well, he's definitely acting like he got them. Ah, thank you, chat, for pointing out the map station. I'm I'm 99% sure that Andrew did not get missiles in the sky or ocean either of the ocean missiles. So hopefully he just learned that he is in criteria. And toaster heading for that Meridia power bomb. No, he's actually heading for the reserve tank down here. Or not. What? I'm so confused, Nintoaster. Did you go down the wrong side? But why not get the reserve tank if you want to get that 11 minus X tile? And you're getting his stack. Getting three statues, in fact. Definitely going to have a lot of questions for these runners after the race. I think Nintoaster maybe just went down the wrong sand pit. And you're going to visit the Eticoons and also not grabbing energy tanks. He's choosing the uh, quick way to visit the Eticoon. Gotta say hi to the Decora. Yes, I, I, Nintoaster now going down the correct sand pit. Alrighty, so if Nintoaster... If the toaster gets his statues and defeats Ridley, he still only got two columns. Yes, so Andrew getting his big pink missiles will likely get his Kraid missiles and then clean up with Billy Mays. At least, hopefully, he uh, goes and gets Kraid Missiles. Alright, so let's assume that Intoaster goes into the statues. What are his other options? Thank you. 
And you remember you get a second power bomb pack for that column. So it looks like Andrew will, fare, once he gets his Crade Missiles, will have two, a row and a column completed. And his easiest one left... Top left to bottom right? And Toaster heading back into Meridia, likely is heading towards Dragon and Space Jump. One more, Andrew. Indeed, it looks like Andrew will be doing row three, column two, column five, which is, uh, depending on how early you guessed that, some nice foresight there. So, what are Nintoaster's options? If he gets Plasma Beam, he can finish up row one, but he needs. He's been skipping E tanks. He can't do column three. He needs to go defeat Ridley to get his column two. X-Factor Spark, all the particles hit. But Mama Dragon's not happy about that. We'll see, uh, assume Andrew will grab his Meridia Power Bomb here. Let's uh, see what sandpit he goes into. I'm correct in saying that Andrew did not get the Kraid missile. Well, this card is certainly getting full. And Toaster's timer is still running, but hopefully everything's okay over there. So I'm definitely feeling that if you wanted to do this card completely optimally, you would have to skip charge or skip high jump boots. One of the two. Otherwise, it just knocks off too many rows. And
Oh, well, that was... I don't... I have no idea what just happened on Nintoser's side. I'm so confused. Was that a pause, or was he just stuck for 50 seconds? And with that, Andrew has dot done with an official SRL time of 49-49, finishing in a Shine Spark in first place in this race. Well done, Andrew. And Toaster getting his plasma beam. Forgot that he did indeed get a Meridia energy tank. Looks like uh, the toaster's still going on, so uh, we'll definitely... I'm very curious to see what he tries to close out with. Because he's got a lot of tiles. <laughs> but no bingos yet. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to think was there a good way to combine row five and column four with something else? Alright, I think row five, column four, column five would have been a pretty solid approach of do Fantoon first, get your gravity, get your statue on the way down. Um gotta get gauntlet or gauntlet tank with just bombs though. Um, then get your speed booster, go kill Dragon, get your power bombs, get your Meridia power bomb, get your Meridia map station, get your space jump, and then go to the pirate room and spark in the pirate room. That's probably, I, I think that, that could have worked well.
And Toaster's doing some thinking. While well, we see if uh, Andrew wants to come in and join us or not. Let's see how we could have constructed a Ridley route out of this one. So, you're not getting that skip charge beam if you're going to go fight Ridley. And you're not getting that skip high jump boots. Because the goal here is to skip the wreck ship. So you could get column two. And you could get row one, but if you get row one, you cannot get row three because of that exclusion of finish and sign spark ice beam and collect only one of. Man, that's just tricky. So yeah, I feel like the Ridley route here, if you were trying to avoid Meridia uh, completely, would have been very difficult. Because you can get row two, or column two and row one, but there's really nothing to pair with those. I guess you could get, because like, you can't get column three unless you want to skip charge. Can't get top left, bottom right, or bottom left, top right. Yeah, I just don't see a way to make the Norfair only route work well. What makes Triple Bingo exceptionally hard for Super Metroid is how many skip and one of only tiles there are. Alright, so Nintoaster is heading down to Ridley. But I'm not sure how that necessarily helps. Gets him to defeat Krakomire and Ridley Tile, which if he then goes and destroys some statues, will give him two bingos, but where is his third? Ooh, I hope he doesn't think he already destroyed the statues, or did he and I missed it? Because if so, then he could actually quadruple bingo. No, that would just be a triple. But yeah, he could do row 5, column 2, column 5, if he thinks he destroyed the statues already. Still a lot of tanks to do row one, top left, bottom right, column five, but that might be easier than skipping the high jump boots and finishing in Metal Pirates.
All right, so an Toaster is gonna get his Ridley kill. Alright, Nintester, what's next? And as I feared, Nintester dot dunned because he thought he visited the statues already. Oh no, he didn't know that you have to visit the statues and see them destroyed. He thought you just had to kill the bosses. You live and you learn. Bingo's hard. This card looked easy at the beginning, and then once you saw what happens if you pick up charge and pick up high jump, it just was like, ooh. Looks like Nintoaster is choosing to press on. And at the very least, right, you live and learn from a mistake, and it didn't cost him the race. Definitely is going to go get his statues, because that's uh, two bingos for him. 
and we'll see if he picks up anything else along the way. As Tracy pointed out, Ice Beam plus Map Station would probably be faster than returning to the Metal Pirate Room. And you could spark in the statue room. Well, we'll, uh, we'll we'll see if he dot duns agains in the statue room. And yes, he he, he he forgot that he needs to go back to Metal Pirates again. <laughs> but hey, we got to see all four statues uh, destroyed in uh, Bingo. <laughs> He's committed, though. He's going to get back to that Metal Pirates. <laughs> You could just go into Turian now. Oh, my God. 
Everyone, uh, make sure to check out the speed gaming schedule for plenty more wonderful Super Metroid multi-category races. Big thanks to our runners. Make sure to uh, go follow them and watch them as they give you further entertainment. I know you're in chat, Kip. So, what would you? What do you think about doing uh, column four, column five, row five? Obviously, you have to skip high jump boots, which is a pain. But Almost back to Metal Pirates, where Nintoaster will finally dot done for the for real. Almost there. And the toaster does finish with the official SRL time of 113.59. Props to toaster for finishing out. Um, I need to sign off. Thank you all for watching. That was an ex entertaining bingo. I love bingo. Please pick more bingo. Everyone, have a good